up guys? So I've been using Studio One for a while now, and coming from Logic, there are a few things I like about Studio One, and a few things I don't like about Studio One. One thing about Logic that I loved was putting on the BPM counter as a plugin on any beat, and it detects the tempo for me. Inside of Studio One, there's no plugin that does this. Today I'm going to show you how to use Melodyne to detect the tempo and get started quickly. First, we're going to want to go ahead and throw on a beat. Simply as drag and drop. Next, we're going to want to check the beginning and make sure that there are no uh, gaps in the beginning. Uh, most tracks usually have a little couple milliseconds of silence. So we're just going to want to trim the beginning so that there's no silence. Okay. Next, we're going to want to drag the clip to bar 1. The last step is pretty simple. We're going to want to put Melodyne on the track. To do that, you're going to do Command M or Control M, or we right click and go to Edit with Melodyne. It's going to go ahead and analyze the clip. Okay, now from here, we just click this button down here with the three dots and it's going to give you the source tempo. Right here it says 154. Right now we're at 81. So if I change the tempo to 154, everything should line up on the tempo map. Let's go ahead and take a listen. So that's how I use Melodyne to get the track tempo. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. Thanks.